Tuesday evening. You know, we all want to be doing different things, we all wish we had better things to do and all that. But the reason why we're gathered here today is because over the weekend, GMP enacted state violence upon young traveller and Romany youth. Is that alright? No! I said, is that alright? No! When young people are piled onto trains and don't know where they're going, when young people are forced onto the ground right here where we stand, faces in the concrete, what do we say? Shame! Sorry, what do we say? Shame! This can't go on, it's not alright. And before we start off on speeches, I just want to be able to talk about the etiquette and the point of this demonstration. This demonstration here today is a small mobilisation. It's a mobilisation that is working towards a larger connection and network. For too long, Manchester has not connected with the wider Gypsy Traveller and Roma community. It's failed the community in many ways. There's been so many violations to Roma and Traveller rights across the UK, across the world actually, and forever, there hasn't been a much mobilisation around our lives, around our issues, around our rights. We fight for ourselves, we resist ourselves, but it's consumed as comedy, as parody. And I think that's not on. We need to be able to connect, we need to be able to mobilise towards a larger demonstration, a bigger demonstration, that's going to be happening in December. Traveller and Romany youth gathered in our city to do nothing more than have fun, go shopping, socialise with each other, and do what children and young people should be doing as Christmas comes nearer and nearer. Instead of being able to enjoy themselves, these young people were faced with the rage and violence of grown adults, mainly men, being forcibly yelled at and shoved into the carriages of trains with no understanding of where they were going or why. If you asked questions, if you resisted, you were shoved, beaten to the ground, face pushed into the concrete with hands on your neck. Do children not deserve better than this? Have we not failed as a society when young people whose biggest struggles should be mundane things like crushes and dreams are left with the boots of the state on their necks, screaming and crying as bru bruises fall on their legs, marks on their bodies, outfits torn? The most heartbreaking part of this is that these young people are used to this. Violence and oppression of Romany and Traveller people is widespread like an illness that grips the minds of the prejudiced and the unjust. I'm sure all of you know what your friends have said about us, your families, your local areas, maybe even aware of your own previous ignorance towards us as a people. How could you not, when every corner of our country is against us? Politicians, media, companies, all of these entities have crafted a perception of us which removes our humanity as one of the same as you. The consequence of this can be as small as fear when you see us walk by, or as big as genocide which sits in the shadow of Nazi Germany. I'm tired of standing here and saying the same thing all over again. I'm tired of seeing countless videos of my people being beaten and violated like it's a national sport. I have no interest in being one of the good ones. I have no interest in smiling at officers who move our childhood of swings and trampolines to a constant reminder of how we as gypsy and traveller people live on borrowed time. Oftentimes you forget that Romany and traveller communities have built resistance that many leftist groups fantasise about. In Hare Hills, when police attempted to rip children from their mother's arms, the Roma community in Leeds responded with resistance. Cop cars overturned, buses set aflame. In my, bag, in my big fat gypsy weddings, our resistance has been consumed as comedy, as silliness. This is propaganda. This is the revolution we're all discussing in theory rooms and Marxist groups. Romanian traveller people are the resistance. We always have and we always will be. Did you guys know that Romani gypsies are the least liked community according to YouGov in the UK? Do you know that? Just Google it. Again, my friend Neil was telling me about the Islamophobia conference. As we know, there are courses now, thankfully, gratefully, there's a bit of progress finally on that end. But on our end, there isn't even awareness. There isn't even consciousness. violence. Dispersing all those panels were used 
to prevent people, young people specifically, to be gypsy, Burma. When structural racism in the service is exposed time and time again. We have to respond to this violence through resistance and solidarity. As a union, we commit to developing a strategy to offer practical solidarity to local Gypsy Romani and Tanya communities in our collective fight against forced evictions and for housing and land justice in Greater Manchester. For a culture has existed in this country for about 100 years. People say things all the time, they travel with it, they don't even know it. People go around saying Krishna, all that, even the word lollipop comes from Romani. We are your culture. We are the building bricks of the mass in this country. And you will recognise when you want to. Discussing how Roma and traveller kids and families were treated this weekend when they were trying to come and enjoy the Christmas markets. So I just want to say I, I will be raising this in full council. It's not who we are as a city, and um, we have to hold those accountable that uh, we're responsible. I'm absolutely fuming that these kids weren't able to experience a simple act of joy without being brutalized for their very existence. I am absolutely fuming that those pigs went home thinking, job well done, whilst those children were back to their parents, bearing the news that Manchester doesn't want them. But in some ways, despite the horror I feel, that we feel having seen those videos, I unfortunately don't feel too surprised. Roman and traveller folk continue to be part of hateful jokes that I have heard told by colleagues and family members. I've witnessed people who share images of children dying in Gaza on Instagram use slurs directed to the Romani and Trondler community and appropriate their culture as if it was an apple to be picked from a tree. And yet the voices of Romani and Trondler folk continue to be silenced and ignored, even by the radicals and the progressives, as we saw the demonization of the hair hole uprising by liberal media and communist parties alike. We must destroy racism in all forms and the plague it brings to our streets and communities. This incident of state violence cannot be viewed in a vacuum. GMP are the vanguard of gentrification in this city, pushing out those that can't afford the new property builds or the yuppie coffee shops. They are the foot soldiers of a fascist state, built on the exploitation of black and brown bodies and private of the hostile environment towards migrants and trans people. We've seen them take children from their families. We've seen them terrorize racialized communities. We've seen them evict homeless as incumbents. We've seen them protect the interests of the property developers, the politicians, and the ruling class time and time again. I hope there is a God, because if I can't find justice in this world, I hope to God there's somewhere else that can see it. Because the idea that people just disappear into nothingness and are gone forever breaks me, breaks me heart, to be honest. The idea of a 19-year-old kid who had ideas what they were going to grow up to be, who had ideas what they wanted to be, who just smiled from his earth because some cop thought, yeah, traveller. That must be stolen. Let's make this young person dead scared. And I don't care if they were a model person. I'm sick of this model minority rhetoric. I'm here for travel to Jimmy who are struggling to Canada. I'm here for people who are struggling to shoplifting because of a bad for me. I'm here for people who are crimes or imprisoned. They're struggling day and day. I do not care if you're a model minority in the face of British state because we are crimes elsewhere and it puts violence against their own people. I know it doesn't just happen to travel kids as well. It happens to working class kids on the estate and all. People make assumptions. Stop young kids, frisk them, arm them, cause violence upon them, cause trauma. That can't continue. What I'm trying to say today is that travel rights are also your rights. For everyone's rights. And this is why we're going to take away this silence at all. And his family will not be shifted off their site and put God knows where. Because this city has gotten rid of all of its council sites. There's no more now in city centre. Second biggest city in the UK, no council travel sites. This investigation must examine the police actions, the rationale behind the dispersal order and the treatment of the children involved. Two, accountable, accountability and transparency. Any officers found to have engaged in discriminatory behaviour must face consequences. The findings of the investigation must be made public to restore community trust. Number three, community engagement. Authorities must work with GRT organisations and community leaders to address concerns, repair relationships and prevent future incidents. Number four, support for affected families. Immediate psychological and emotional support must be provided to children and families impacted by this event. And five, training and reform. GMP must undertake robust anti-racism and cultural sensitivity training to prevent discriminatory practices in the future. 
Rather than imposing a blanket dispersal order and targeting vulnerable children, the police could have monitored the situation without immediately resorting to exclusionary measures, could have engaged community leaders to ensure mutual understanding and peaceful enjoyment of the festivities, or addressed individual incidents of antisocial behaviour without stereotyping or profiling an entire group. What happened in Manchester is not the first time the GMP have behaved this way. We saw last year how they targeted black young people, banning them from Alexandra Park. They have long brutalised and harmed communities, marginalised and racialised peoples most of all. We know all too well that the police are racist and classist. They enact the violence of the state and oppress us. We cannot look to them for solutions. Their explanations are meaningless when they are doing exactly what policing has been designed to do. Neither too can we look to politicians who use our communities as political footballs. Our liberation is in each other. We thought, the UK is a liberal country. The people in the UK know right from wrong. They know not to discriminate. They've seen it. They've learned from their mistakes. They know what they've done to the rest of the world and they will know to treat us with equality. They don't. When I was 11 years old, I was attacked by a fellow classmate. He said I was a dirty blooded gypsy. And I felt all of the safety that I was promised when I came to the UK shatter inside me and it was replaced by fear, it was replaced by anger and it was replaced by the feeling that I will never be safe no matter where I go and that is true. Now I have to watch as children that are part of my community get ripped up away from their parents. I have to look and stand as people that are travellers get trampled on by the authorities. Why should I have to live in a world that fucking hates me and my people? Does a police uniform make anyone above the law? You think a good gypsy is a quiet one, a silent one. A good gypsy is a united one. They want us divided. They want to put us into Romas and gypsies and travellers. They don't fucking know that we're the same people with the same rich red blood. Opre Roma. It means rise. It means rise, Roma. Opre Roma!